Now, back in December, Wise, who makes very low-cost security cameras, announced that they were removing an AI feature to detect people. Uh, this was a very popular feature because it would reduce the amount of false alarms that the cameras generate, and it was able to do all of this on device. Now, Wise did not develop this technology themselves. They were contracting with another company called Xnor.ai, uh, which came up with the algorithms, and WISE was licensing that through a contract that they had with Exnor. But that contract allowed for Exnor to pull out of the deal anytime they wanted to. And in December, they executed that portion of the contract. And now this month, all of the WISE firmware updates getting sent out to their cameras will remove this on-device AI feature. And now we know why Exnor wanted out, and that's because Apple acquired them. Uh, this kind of technology is very attractive to Apple because they can continue to market themselves as the privacy company where they're not sending data off-site to be analyzed. It's all happening on device. And the fact that they were able to get this algorithm functioning quite well on a super cheap WISE camera, I think is a very valuable technology or software technology for Apple to have for their uh, devices. And that is why uh, your cameras will no longer detect people, at least until WISE comes up with another solution for that. Uh, WISE did announce last month that they're working on something that they're developing in-house, but that will likely require some kind of cloud processing to work. Uh, so whatever they come up with won't be as good as what they had here. And it was so good that Apple wanted it all to themselves. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.